Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. It's got a special video for you guys here this week. Hope you guys are enjoying the weekend. It turned out to be a nice day here. And... This is kind of going to be like a little tribute video remembering Owen Hart and the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith. And can't believe it. It's already been uh, 18 years for Owen and uh, 15 years for Davy. And... Man, when 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 you think about that, that's time has flown by. I I can never get over what happened with Owen and the accident, the tragic day of May the twenty third, nineteen ninety nine. Um, live on pay per view, this accident occurred, and I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, but. You know, just put it off, put it off, and we'll talk about it now. But just want to come back and relive some of Owen's greatest matches and moments here. Um, you know, I I was a big fan. I'm, I'm still a big fan of going back and watching the new gen era. Watching Owen and Davey and Brett and the rise of Austin and Shawn Michaels and the uh, Taker Mankind feud there in '96, just awesome times there. Pre Attitude Era, you know, with the whole Heart Foundation, those were some good times of wrestling. And I'm not real sure why the New Generation Era gets the um, crap it does, but I'm a big fan of it. I like that era. I like going back and watching, you know, Razor Ramon and Diesel and Sean, Owen Hart, British Bulldog, all these guys. One, two, three, kid. But today we're going to talk about Owen Hart and give you a little shot of the Heart of Gold DVD. I've got a couple other DVDs here I'm going to show you in a minute. But, you know, this was released back in 2015. This is one you guys definitely want in your collection. Um, it, it goes through the, the life and times of Owen Hart. All the classic stories you heard about Owen Hart. The pranks and the ribs he would do. How he would become friends of fans. And just an overall good family man. He was well known for being, you know, close to his family. I think this set is really well done. Um, great shot of Owen Hart there at WrestleMania 10. I used to have lots of posters on my wall, and uh, eventually I had to end up taking them down. But I had a poster of WrestleMania 10 there, and that was uh, great to look at every day and see Owen Hart there. But... You know, here we got three discs of Owen. Pick this up if you can, guys. Um, you know, it does cover the tragic day there in 1999 at the end. And uh, the legacy of Owen Hart will, will live on forever. Um, this is one of those docs that it's fun to watch but it's it's a very sad story it's it does get very emotional there at the uh ending couple of chapters and uh you know who knows if if we would have said no to the blue blazer gimmick and all that maybe owen would still be around but you know the uh I've heard stories of Over the Edge 99 and uh, the actual footage of Owen and the fall where while that was happening, the 
the production truck had been running a uh, a, a promo package for the match involving uh, the Godfather and the Blue, Bra Blue Blazer for the IC title. So no one was really focused on the ring, but the cameras were still rolling. And apparently in, in Titan Towers, the, the footage is locked away, never to be viewed, copied, or destroyed. And that's that kind of boggles my mind as to why they kept it, why they're keeping it, and why they don't want to destroy it. Um, I, I really have no clue what use the footage does. And... It's it's one of those mysteries of the WWF. Um, I I heard a while, some back some time last week that uh, you know there's a little latch on the uh, thing they use to launch yourselves down on the uh, harness there, and while Owen was trying to put his cape on, he must have you know hit the latch and. It released his uh, harness, and that's one of big safety issue that uh, WWE had to go through a big lawsuit, and it, it it's a very sad story, guys. Um, so let's move on. Let's get out of this for a while. The sad stuff. Let's move on to some good times in wrestling. Let's go back to 1992. And let's talk about the British Bulldog. Because I think that's got to be the Bulldog's greatest match there. It was 1992 SummerSlam. Wembley Stadium. Over 80,000 fans packing that stadium. I think that's got to be the Bulldog's um, crowning achievement of his career. The stuff he did in 1999, um, returning in the jeans and as a heel, I wasn't a fan of that. I always wondered why the Bulldog was there. Um, he would be threatening Triple H to win the title and all this, and eventually he he disappeared. And then um, in May of 2002, Bulldog was found dead at the age of 39. Um, you know, another guy gone before the age of 40. I'll always be a fan of the British Bulldog. You know, his legacy will be that of a champion. And he was one of the biggest guys, the most muscular guys, very powerful in the ring. British Bulldog um, definitely needs a WWE DVD one day. And, you know, he's been in numerous WrestleMania moments, winning the tag titles at WrestleMania 2 with Dynamite Kid. He was at WrestleMania 13, teaming with Owen and, I believe, Yoko at Rest. No, it wasn't uh, Yoko, but... And they went against Mankind and Vader, so... Pretty cool, pretty cool moments there for Bulldog, but him being the European champion, that match with Owen Hart will always be uh, one of the greatest ever. Those guys went out, they told that awesome story there, and put on a hell of a performance there in uh, in the European Championship Tournament Finals. Uh, March 3rd, 1997. So, you know, the British Bulldog was definitely um, a favorite of a lot of guys back in the uh, early 90s, mid 90s. Bulldog was, you know, one of the greatest fan favorites you'll ever see. Um, and moving on to 1997... Who knows if Steve Austin will ever get over this moment, but uh, Owen Hart breaking Stone Cold Steve Austin's neck. Um, that's one of those moments that you're not going to be prepared for. It's just a, um, 
a, a human error, a, a big time human error that uh, would lead to the uh, early retirement of Stone Cold Steve Austin and he would undergo severe neck surgery and spinal stenosis, all that stuff there in 1999, out for a year. But you know, overall, Owen Hart and the British Bulldog, you know, two first ballot Hall of Famers in my opinion. I, I want to see them both in the Hall of Fame at one point. Um, but... With Martha Hart and Diana Hart Smith, who knows if either man will see the Hall of Fame. In the fans' eyes, they're both Hall of Famers. Um, you know, rest in peace, Bulldog. Rest in peace, Owen Hart. This has been a little tribute to guys. Um, take some time and subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Peace.